great to talk to you this morning. Um, I'm going to be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 10 uh, this morning. If you have your Bibles or your apps, you'd like to, to turn there. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. I don't want you to forget, dear brothers and sisters, about our ancestors in the wilderness long ago. All of them were guided by a cloud that moved ahead of them. All of them walked through the sea on dry ground. In the cloud and sea, all of them were baptized as followers of Moses. All of them ate the spiritual food, and all of them drank the same spiritual water, for they drank from the spiritual rock that travelled with them, and that rock was Christ. Yet God was not pleased with most of them, and their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. These things happened as a warning to us so that we would not crave evil things as they did, or worship idols as some of them did. As the scriptures say, the people celebrated with feasting and drinking, and they indulged in pagan revelry, and we must not engage in sexual immorality as some of them did, causing 23,000 of them to die in one day. Nor should we put Christ to the test as some of them did, and then died from snake bites, and don't grumble as some of them did, and then were destroyed by the angel of death. These things happened to them as examples for us. They were written down to warn us who live at the end of the age. I was talking to someone recently and we were discussing the fact that um, the mistakes in our lives hopefully would serve to the next generation as examples of what not to do. To um, to do as I say, not as I did. Because I know when I was a youth worker it was easy for um, me to tell stories about mistakes I'd made and sometimes the reaction would be, well, I'll make the same mistakes and we'll just see how it goes and your heart would break. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10 here is making it clear that to look back, to read these stories of people making mistakes should warn us, should stir us on to not make the same mistakes, whether it's idolatry, sexual morality, grumbling, all these different things serve as an example to us. Um, and this morning I put to us that we should take these things seriously and even in our own lives, we can look back and maybe the mistakes that we've made and we've seen that God has taught us through those mistakes. They even as stand as a warning to us. Maybe we got really close to the edge, really found ourselves in situations we wish we'd never been in. God rescued us. And even thinking about them now, we might think back and go, wow, what grace he showed me. I would never want to um, push God to that point where he would have to come and do that again. So let's use these examples and let's use examples in our own lives to walk that straight and narrow road to not try and to not even be at all tempted to waver from wanting to honour God and do what pleases him. And the way to do that often is to look back, see what other people mistakes people made and learn from them and uh, seek God to not make the same mistakes. Let me pray. Father God, I thank you for these examples in your scriptures. Thank you that it clearly says they were written down to warn us at the end of the age not to make the same mistakes. And I pray that we wouldn't. I pray, Lord God, that we would um, abstain from things the world tells us are normal. That we would choose holiness. That we would choose purity. That we would choose close walk with you above all other things. Lord, I pray that we would draw close to you. In doing so, you draw close to us. I pray this morning that we would come to you if we're feeling that we've let you down and we would come to our advocate, Lord Jesus Christ, and ask for forgiveness. Know that your blood covers us. And I pray, Lord, then that we would take the next step and move on, putting that sin behind us and seeking to please you and honour you and live as you desire us to live for our witness to those around us, for our joy, O oh God, and for your glory, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a great day, everybody, and hope to see you soon. Bye.